Yo guys, why would you get something so cheap and small like this, an HDMI capture card? Well, let's talk about it. Yes, I did almost drop this thing. <laughs> What's up guys, this is JPR Tech here, the Puerto Rican, living in Japan, talking about photography, videography, and all the tech in our life and how to use it for cheap or better yet, free. Now today I'm gonna be talking about the cheapest and the best most useful tool gadget i think i have in my whole arsenal and my studio and i'm talking about this little cheap hdmi capture card i know these have been thrown around during the zoom and the pandemic but today i'm going to be talking about why you still might want to get one of these if you haven't already done so and how it's useful in my workflow not only in my secular work uh, through the remote uh, communications but also through my tech or my content creation work how this little thing can help us so let's get started first of all if you don't know what an HDMI capture card is it's basically a device that takes an HDMI in and then puts it into the computer so this actually turns any HDMI device whether it's an actual uh, PlayStation or something that's just outputting HDMI but in our case we're talking about cameras that do have clean HDMI out can take that video and encode it into a way that your computer will see this as a webcam so it's a pretty cool tool you know very useful because then you could turn any camera any mirrorless camera you have into an amazing webcam or like in my case I'm used to just recording internally into my MacBook Pro in the great 4k prores codec shooting in s log 2 therefore getting amazing footage so it's not only for web work it's great for content creating work now very important we before we move on you got to make sure that the gear the camera you're using supports hdmi out and it has to be clean there can be any menus or anything that disturbs or takes away from the actual image or that you're using. So for example, my Fujifilm X-H1 does support clean HDMI out, whereas my Canon EOS M does not support. Magic Lantern does help, it does have a clean HDMI out, but we're just actually exporting or outputting the actual image of the back LCD, so it's not really live footage that you're capturing. So the resolution is going to be really pixelated, very low quality, and it's not worth using as an HDMI out. But there are great cheap alternative options out there for mirrorless cameras that do support HDMI out. So Google is your friend to find out which one is the cheapest for your budget. But now that we got all the gear, what we need out of the way, it's actually quite simple the way we just plug everything up. It's pretty as easy as just connecting the HDMI out, whether it's the micro, the mini, or a full size HDMI. And you just gotta make sure that the end is also a full HDMI. And plug it into your USB-A. And that's it. It's pretty much plug and play. Your camera will see it as a camera selected. Make sure you have all your settings set up for your whatever recording app you're using, such as in my case, I'm using the QuickTime player and I have it at the maximum quality, which records in ProRes. Wow, amazing. And that's why I'm able to shoot in S-Log2. Now, if you're just using it for Zoom or for just having like a little window, like a screen layover on top of your gaming or whatever, then really you don't need maximum resolution. You could set it on high, which is just a regular H.264. It's an MP4 codec, so it's gonna be a lot smaller with lower resolution. Due to the fact that I use this for my secular work, um, I ended up getting the Camlink 4K because I did wanna record the 4K that comes out of the Sony A7S as well as the uh, Fujifilm X-H1. And even the 4K out of my the back camera, the rear camera of the iPhone 12 looks amazing when you're recording internally in your Mac. So that's why I opted to go with the Camlink 4K. But with that said, even this 1080p HDMI capture card takes great video quality and they run about 10 to 15, maybe $20 in Amazon or eBay. 
and just make sure they have a good refund policy just in case you get a bad unit. And there is another way we can get more use out of these HDMI capture cards and that is uh, using it to connect to our external tablets such as the iPad Pro that support USB-C. Now connecting your iPad with a USB-C HDMI dongle like such, you're able to capture whatever is on the tablet screen and it works great for showcasing or just uh, showing what's on your screen into with to the audience that you're talking with whether it's um it's just with a switch of a button just switch the camera from one hdmi capture card to the other one and you'll be able to flip between your camera and your tablet and this works great in obs in obs you're able to use both at the same time have overlays and green screen your tablet to be able to draw on top of your camera it's just amazing countless and it's all thanks to an HDMI capture card and the best thing about it is you don't need any uh, complicated software to get this running just plug and play everything plug the camera up through your HDMI uh, capture card and have another dongle with your tablet and another cheap HDMI capture card and you have everything set up to get amazing conference meeting or presentations so guys, what do you guys think? This little cheap HDMI capture card, I really think it's worth getting if you don't have one already. If you think the tips and information in this video was helpful, you can help out the channel by smashing that like button, sharing so other people that need a work, that have a similar workflow like us can get better use of the tech we have. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace.